Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's know how. I am Ranjini Priya here. Thank you so much who are all supporting my channel. And please share my videos as much as you can. Uh, thank you so much. We already see the equal division lambda algorithm in the previous parts. And we see the example and exercise sums in equal division lambda. Now we are going to see the fundamental theorem of arithmetic and which, which is the second part of the real numbers. Move on to the topic. Uh, real, num uh, real numbers can be uh, split in, in two parts. We already know it which is equal division lambda rule and other one is uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic. What is mean by fundamental theorem of arithmetic? That is, every composite number can be written in the form of, that is, can be written in the product of prime numbers or otherwise is known as power of primes. This is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. We already see in the uh, previous classes like 7th, uh, 8th classes. Uh, to find out the HCA for LCM, we just split the bigger values that is given numbers into the form of prime numbers like this. If, if they given a huge number like 245 like this, we just split it into prime numbers and write like this power of primes this is this is we want going to do in the fundamental theorem of arithmetic we just want to split that is uh, written as the product of primes given every composite numbers okay let us see what is the theorem in a proper words. Every composite number can be expressed or otherwise factorized as a product of primes. Every composite numbers, every composite numbers can be expressed as a product of primes. This is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. And there is some conditions what it is this factorization that is this express, expressed forms is unique apart from the order in which the prime, prime factors occur. This is the condition the uh, factorization should be unique. Why because the composite numbers can be expressed in the unique way so only it becomes easy so how we made this unique means you just want to split the that is express the product product of primes in ascending order what is the ascending order of prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 13 as like that you just want to split or express the composite number in the form of prime numbers as an ascending order so only you get the unique unique form unique form of the prime numbers i hope you are understanding i will clearly explain it in the example sums you just uh, have this every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes this is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic okay who has invented this fundamental theorem of arithmetic means Carl Friedrich Gauss Carl Friedrich Gauss only uh, he only invented this fundamental theorem of arithmetic he also known as prince of mathematicians he is the prince of mathematicians students note this this may be as in one marks 
one of the three greatest mathematicians he also the one of the greatest mathematicians who are uh, along with Archimedes and Newton he also gives the fundamental contributions to uh, science uh, we already hear about gas laws uh, if you not you will hear soon he only the uh, invented the gas law he also participated that is uh, fundamental contributions in science that's it this is the introduction of fundamental arith arithmetic we will see the example and exercise sum in the next part thank you so much for thank you so much for watching please like my video below this video and share this video as much as you can thank you so much bye bye